Hi. So if you're anything like me, you have a strange addiction to Zillow and Street Easy. I could not tell you why, but I keep searching up apartments on these two websites and just looking through them and imagining, you know, the different lives I can live and what I could do with this space. Or I don't know, I, I have a problem. <laughs> like just imagine having my own one bedroom apartment with its own dishwasher. Like incredible, unheard of in New York. So I know I love how when we were all kids, like our dream was like, oh, I'm gonna live in a castle or I'm gonna live, you know, like like in a mansion or something. And now the millennial slash Gen Z dream is I want to have my own apartment. Not a big one, just a one bedroom apartment. Anyways, since I've been on these websites so much, it has inspired me to create some designs that I really want to try out. So I got this idea to do kind of like a floor plan and just make it look really aesthetic or something. like. I mean, I mean, you'll see when I like actually do it, but I just think it would look really cool if I could make art out of like floor plans of like spaces. I just think it'd be really cool. So first I'm gonna find an apartment and I'm going to show you guys what it is because I want this to be like an actual real place. Although I'm not gonna like show you the actual listing because um, I feel like that might be an invasion of privacy to like whoever ends up renting that space. But um, I'll see you in a sec. After countless hours of scouring the internet, I, I, I'm kidding, I looked on Street Easy for like 10 minutes or whatever, um, I have found what I think is a really interesting space that I could draw visually. Ooh. So yeah, let me show you. So this is what the plan looks like. Um, basically, you would enter in here. This is the main doorway. Um, this is the main living room area. And then this is a bedroom area. These windows look out onto the street. Over here, there's a closet here. There's another closet here. This area is the kitchen. Um, this is where like the refrigerator would be. The kitchen sink and stove are over here. And then this is the bathroom area. It has this like little cutout here. Basically there are windows all along here that look out onto this tiny, tiny courtyard. You can't even call it like a courtyard because it's just so small. If you're not really familiar with New York apartments, um, this might seem really weird that you would have like windows around like basically what is a completely enclosed space. But basically a lot of buildings are designed like this so that residents get some amount of light and or like a window is also an egress in a building and you can get like fresh air or whatever. And so they put windows in the building even if they don't necessarily have a view does make it kind of annoying because like you want at least some kind of a view outside your window but a lot of the times that's just not what you get. Um, like a lot of things in New York. Anyways, now that I have the floor plan that I want- oh god, no. Now that I have the floor plan that I want picked out, um, I can go in and sketch this out in Adobe Illustrator and we'll see where we are. Um, I hope this does not turn out really bad, um, but yeah have at least some amount of hope. I'll see you in a bit. I feel like I did a bad job of explaining this um, at first, but basically what I want to do with this floor plan is I want to basically redraw it in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to play around with like the line widths and the representation. Um, yeah, like the drawing of the actual floor plan itself just to make it look really aesthetic. Like I can make all the exterior walls like really bold. You can show like depth in there. I swear this sounds like really boring, but it, in my head, this is really interesting and it could be really cool. And then I can add like really cool gradients and colors to all of that. And then I'm gonna probably take in some furniture and I'll like draw those out and then I'll place them so that you get a feel for how someone might furnish this place, but it still has the aesthetic of like a blueprint or like an architectural drawing or something like that. So that is the goal with this. It is the ripe hour of 12.45 p.m. the next day, and mm, 
I'm like just waking up. Um, so yeah, um, I would stopped filming last night um, after a while because I was just like, you know what, I'll, I'll go to bed and then work on this tomorrow. Um, it was really late at night when I was filming um, yesterday and so I was just like, yeah, you know, let's do that. And then I ended up working on it a lot more. Um, and I think I have something that I really like. And I want to say that like I finished it last night, but I'm honestly not sure because I don't know if this actually needs anything else. Like I, maybe there's something else that should go in, but maybe not, I don't know. So this is what it looks like so far. Um, yeah. Honestly, I really do like it. I think that the, the little gradient, uh, freeform gradient that I have on the pochet of the thickness of the walls is really interesting and I love that. Um, I love how there's a different color for like appliances versus, you know, furniture or things that have actually been brought into the apartment and that weren't, I guess, originally part of it. I think it presents a really visually compelling color palette and composition overall. And um, I am really happy with it, but like in the back of my mind, I'm just like, you know, is there something else that I could do with this? Is there, you know, like, what more could I do? Or does it even need more than that? So I really don't know the answer to those questions. Um, I mean, to an extent, like all art projects are kind of like that, where you're just like, oh, what if I did this? Or I feel like this needs something more. But you never really know because it's just like, when is it actually done? You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm going to like print it out and then maybe like hang it up somewhere and see how I feel about it after that. And um, yeah, we'll just go from there. So I got to work printing out the design and I almost immediately messed up because I printed out the wrong size. And then I was like, oh no, I've wasted a whole sheet of paper, but then I remembered I could just turn it over and then put it back into the printer and be fine. And so yeah, that's what I did. And then I proceeded to cut the paper and then I put it into an old 8x10 mat that I had lying around so that it would look nice when I had it up on the wall. By the way, I just want to apologize for how bad I looked in some of those shots because I just reviewed them. Um, I did not realize it was like that bad. Never mind, I am just a mess when I'm making this video. By the way, I just showed this to my roommate and she was like, I don't like how the bathroom is not next to the bedroom and it's over by the kitchen, which I totally agree, but I, I wanted this to be like a real apartment and so that's just how this one was designed. Maybe I should do something with the background. Um, but I really don't know what, because I don't want to put like a picture behind it or anything because I feel like that would distract from the overall aesthetic. I guess I could put like a very pastel color in the background and that might work. Um, but yeah, honestly, like the white aesthetic is kind of like interesting as well. I, I think the simplicity of like all the shapes works really well because it's not like overwhelming to you. Um, like if I went and like put in a real picture of a couch or a real picture of a bed or something, it feels like it might be a bit too much because I want to try and get at, you know, this is just how the spatial arrangement of it is. Not necessarily what state the space is in, which might also be a really interesting um, project as well. But for the purposes of this drawing, um, I think this is really interesting. If you like my work, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I have a TikTok now, um, apparently. Also, if you want to support me, um, there are links for my Etsy and my Patreon below. I might also put this on Etsy as well, so be on the lookout for that uh, in the description if there is a link to that. But yeah, I hope to see you in the next one where I am hopefully creating something very interesting, kind of like this, because it may be more interesting. Maybe it's less interesting, I don't know, I can't see the future. Enfin, merci pour avoir regardé et ça c'est tout.